In the beginning of every year, the CES in Las Vegas shows the new trends which are coming up in the world of consumer tech. And guys, there's a lot of crazy new tech hitting the market in 2019. 8K TVs dominated the Las Vegas Convention Center show floor, some amazing new laptops showed up, and flexible displays are finally reality. A lot of the stuff shown at the CES is often just a concept and not ready for the market. But this year, we have seen a lot of future tech that is now ready to sell. And let's get started to check them out. So Skywarf invited me and made my trip possible, so they have been the first ones that I did check out on my first day. 8K TVs are hitting the market now and there was no big manufacturer that didn't show an 8K television. Even though, even 4K is not the standard that everyone has right now. But I have to be honest and I think 8K looks impressive. But at that price point right now, I would still wait a bit until I get myself one. Now you will ask yourself, why 8K? So I got an expert demo from Sony and they told me that 8K resolution doesn't actually mean more sharpness like most people think. But also one of the big benefits is more pixels render better colors. And the color gradation looks so much better and smoother on 8K. And if you see it in reality, you will definitely see a difference. But for me right now, it's not worth the extra money. Also, OLED is now so advanced that there are even transparent televisions, which are really not um, as good as conventional OLEDs, but there are TVs in all kinds of forms like zero gap TVs for wall mounts, waterfall TVs hanging from the wall, flat panels that lean back with a vibrating panel being the speaker, and much, much more. I also did an interview with one of Skyworth's representatives for a look behind the scenes and an upcoming truth about video about China's biggest TV manufacturer, so stay tuned. I'm personally using a MateBook X Pro, which I really love. But Huawei surprised everyone with a new budget version in the beginning of 2019. Aimed right at Apple and Microsoft's laptops, the new MateBook 13 shows that thin and light notebooks can have it all. Features like a touchscreen, a discreet NVIDIA GeForce MX150 graphics, stereo Dolby Atmos speakers, which sound really good, and a fingerprint reader makes this computer, which starts at $999, a very attractive portable machine with a good price point. For all the PC enthusiasts, Razer gave us an impressive demo of the new stuff, including Razer Hypersense, which is converting 3D sound into haptic feedback. The company can make gaming more immersive with that. They also have a real gaming chair with haptic feedback, a headset, a keyboard wrist and pad rest, and a gaming mouse with built-in haptic feedback, synced to Overwatch and Doom, and it felt really crazy. Also they have shown the new Chroma features, and you can now control it with Alexa, and Razer has opened up Chroma lighting so that third-party devices can actually use it. That way, everything works together, so when you tell Alexa to turn on red, it does that, and it can also change your hue lights and much more. And all you need is one Razer device to control all compatible RGB devices. And then they also showed a new Razer notebook with an OLED display and a lot of impressive stuff. The R in LG's signature OLED TV R stands for rollable, as this 65-inch TV hides into its aluminum base when it's not in use. The rollable TV was first teased at the CES 2018, but this year you can actually buy it. With gorgeous color and deep blacks, a display that's just 3mm thick and of course the rollable design, LG's TV is easily one of the coolest things at CES. Honor launched its all-view display on the View 20, which replaces a traditional wide central notch with a punch hole on the far left. The small 4.5mm hole contains a 25 megapixel camera and Honor says performance will not be affected by the new screen design. The old view display is technically very interesting and the devices will be released in Europe this month, so my review will come also this month. Anyway, we'll see a lot of smartphones with holes in the display this year, stay tuned. Announced in late 2018. The Royal FlexPie is the first foldable and flexible Android phone on the market, and it's being shown off here at the CES 2019, and it is attracting plenty of attention. The FlexPie is actually the world's first commercially foldable smartphone, and it doubles up as a tablet when unfolded to its full 7.8 inch size. It is designed to be used as a free screen device, so basically one large display when unfolded, or two smaller displays when folded in half. While the large tablet style 1920x1440 resolution display is capable of bending without warping, 
It requires a flexible ridge down its back to accommodate the bending. It's built to withstand more than 200,000 bends, but I'm not really sure if that is really true. And it's also more resistant to cracks and scratches than conventional glass display, at least the company says that. When folded in half to take a photo, using either the 60 megapixel front facing or the 20 megapixel rear camera, the device displays both what's visible through the camera lens to the person holding it and to the subject of the picture thanks to a feature called Dual View Camera Mode, so this is really interesting. Royal is actually a display manufacturer, not a smartphone maker, and it's clear that the FlexPi has been rushed out to ensure it claims the crown of the world's first foldable phone and just show off the display technology. Unfortunately, the user experience is not that good, but it proves what technology can make possible today. Besides all these new high-tech gadgets, my personal casual things are also the new JBL PartyBox 1000 and Sony's new tiny but good sounding Bluetooth speakers. So this year there is basically no new gadget that doesn't have some fancy LED lighting. And the JBL PartyBox with 1100 watts did really draw my attention, as I'm a big fan of these fancy looking portable DJ machines. If you're into small speakers. Sony has also released some old-fashioned but good-sounding new Bluetooth speakers. So that's it, that are most of the things I had a look at the CS, and to be honest it was much more stressful than I actually expected. I rushed from one appointment to appointment and every day there was a party and it really exhausted me. Anyways, I had so much fun with Balash and David from Tech Video and also lots of other cool guys there. So guys, stay tuned for some awesome collabs in 2019. Big thanks for watching guys and as always, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day, bye.